Hi, my name is Andrea Bamarito and I'm with ZSK Machines. Hi, and I'm Rene from ZSK Germany. And today we are going to show you the My ZSK production management system. My ZSK directly integrates with your embroidery equipment and the system allows you to view machinery production as well as stitch analysis. And in addition to viewing this type of information, um, the manager has the ability to print and save reports. This definitely will help your business increase productivity and workflow. My ZSK works with your schedule. So anywhere you are in the world, you know, with your tablet or any place that has internet connectivity, you can actually go in and manage your production on your machinery. And today, Renee is going to help us. He's going to show us what we get with the My ZSK and how to connect it up to our machine. So I will hand it over to Renee and you can show us. Thank you, Andrea. So when you order My ZSK, you will get this nice box included with the router. The router is then necessary for the connection to the My ZSK software. By the way, very important before we open the box, you see here, there is the product ID number, which is necessary later on for the connection. Now let's see what is inside in our nice box. Open the box. And first of all, we do have the instruction manual or the guideline how to install it. Please be careful with it and don't throw it away. Second necessary, of course, is the router itself. And here we do have also the ID product number again, which is later on necessary, I told you. We do have also the flash drive, which is necessary for the software then, as well as a network cable, two antenna for wireless if you need it, as well as the charger. Here it is. Now we have seen what is inside the box of my ZSK. If you have multiple machines, it could be that you need also a switch. Uh, definitely you need Ethernet cable. That means LAN cable. This you should have definitely. Wherever your machine is, it depends now which kind of length you need. Please take care of this. So we currently have the network cable plugged into our modem or uh, it is connected to the internet. So the other end of our cable, actually here we have it plugged into a wall and uh, this ethernet cable will be plugged into our router. But first before we plug this into our router, we'll go ahead and take the USB, we'll turn around the router, you can see the back here, and you can see we have multiple connections for different things. We have two USB connections right here. We also have a blue ethernet plug and four yellow ethernet plugs. This is going to be important later. First, we'll take the USB, go ahead and take the cap off, and plug it into either one of the USBs. It actually does not matter which one we have it plugged into, just choose one. But it is important that this is on there. If this is not on there, that can cause us some problems. The ethernet cable, since it is already connected to the internet, you do not want to plug it into the blue uh, plug. This is only for manual configuration. Unless you're otherwise uh, directed to manual configuration, you need to plug it into one of the yellow ports. So please make sure to plug it into one of the yellow ports. And now we have those two connected. Next thing we can do is actually take uh, our antenna, plug or twist it on to these little sections right here, one and two. And you can see that with, uh, after screwing it in, you can actually take the, um, the antenna and, and change the antenna, uh, swivel it. The last but not least is you do want to take your power supply, plug that in here, and obviously plug that into the wall. Uh, the other things that we do need to consider are these other ports, as this will need to be connected to the machine, as well as the on-off button. So again, make sure that your ethernet connection is in one of the, uh, the yellow areas, 
one of the yellow plugs. Uh, this one is currently going to our internet connection. So we've plugged in our router to the wall and you can see that our um, power switch is activated. You can see our green light. And actually there is a little blue light that you can see on the USB and you want to make sure that's on to know that that it is activated. We will take our other ethernet cable. Now this one is for the machine. We're going to plug it into again one of the yellow ones. We do not want to plug it into the internet port right here. So we'll plug it into the yellow one and you can see here you actually have the ability to connect up to three machines if you would like uh, since we do have four ports. The other end of this cable will go to our T8 controller on the ZSK. With the router now plugged into the internet as well as the other end of our second ethernet cable, we are going to take this end of the ethernet cable, plug it right into the ethernet port on the T8 controller, and as you notice, I want you to look at these lights. As soon as we plug that in, it will say we are connected because you'll see that light start blinking. So you want to make sure that it is blinking so uh, that knowing that your Ethernet cables are working and are communicating with the router. Thank you, Andrea, for the nice explanation how to install the router as well as our machines and to the Internet. Since everything is done, what we have to do is to open the software MyCSK. Fortunately, it is not necessary to install any software. All what we have to do is to open an internet browser and give in a path. The path will be, which I show you right now, my.csk.de and confirm the return or enter. If you see this image, mycsk, please you have to use the button register to make your registration. Here you have to give in your company name as well as your email address and any further information if necessary. Please send it to us and if this is done you will get a password from us which you can change of course later on by yourself. In my case I do have already a password. So what I have to do now is I give in my email address as well as my password. What you see then, or especially in my case, you see machines already. These machines are all switched off. Those machines are actually in St. Louis. But since we, it is not switched off, we don't need or explain it at the moment. All what you have to do is to go to the button data collectors. Here you will see only one of this window. In your case, it will be a green active one, as you can see here. And on top of it, there should be your ID or product ID number. Very important in this case is to know and make even a note of it, the IP address. In my case, you see the IP address is 192.168.0.10. And the port is four times the number five. As I said, please make a note of it because this number has to be on all CSK machines and the control panel T8. So before we go to the machine, we have to open once our router, basically the data collector. Just make a double click on it and you will see we are inside. You see again here the idea number as well as your company name and underneath you can give in a location. Some customers, they have more than one location. It could be in a different city, for instance. Here underneath, you can use the button create new location. Please type in any new location and confirm it with save. In my case, I did it already. It's our office in St. Louis. So I will go back now to the data collector, choose here now my location, which is the office. This is actually what you should see. And as I told you, this is the IP address number as well as the port. Now we are able to go to the machines.
All right, we are now at the CSK machine on a T8 control panel. We have to give in now the IP address as well as the port. In this case, please use the button L3. L3 is service. I use the button service and here we do have another function called production data acquisition. Please use acquisition, go inside and what you have to do is to give a check to the PDA data data collector. Give a check and the next step is to give in the IP address. A button below, click on it and then you type it in. The numbers here underneath, I have to give in 192 and to get into the other field, simply press the tabulator key, tab key. 168 and then we do have zero and at the end we have the number 10. To give in the port, we use the next button underneath, port, and I have to give in four times the number five. That's it. Please use for the confirmation the confirm key. And once again, previous. And I would recommend to restart the machine. Now I'm back on the computer and I want to show you what happened now on my CSK. Since the machine is plugged in, we should see it. In this case, we go to the button overview and you will see now our machine here, as well as the design as a pictog. What I will do now is to start the machine that we will see what will happen. Well, this was everything what you have to do for the installation for the MyCSK. Thank you very much and I hope we will see you soon again. Bye.